What's up, banditos? Tux has your back with this Division 2 SVD build that hits up to 5 million, smashing everything in sight. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Hit like right now and comment SVD for me down below. Let's go. This is the SVD build you need now and for the next title update 15. You probably know by now season 9 is going to deliver an exotic SVD and this build is not only amazing right now but it has the new SVD in mind when I created it. If you don't know the SVD, let me introduce you. It's a beast and I absolutely love it. It was really popular in the early days of Division 2 and sort of disappeared in the mist over time. I didn't really use it back then, but I've been using it lately and now I know why it was so celebrated. I am so glad it's making a comeback. I created an SVD build in this live stream and since then, Banditos have been integrating it into their loadouts. After this video, I think you will too. This is the max damage build for the SVD. It crits over 5 million with Ranger as the weapon talent. It's it's easy to assemble and is centered on the named chess piece pristine example which gives us up to 60% multiplicative damage when we're scoped in. The rest is basically crits and the typical multiplicative damage loadout. But this one is not my favorite version for the SVD. The SVD works great with an all red build. The problem is that it has horrible handling. This version of the build gets that under control. In my opinion, it is way better and is perfectly tailored to the weapon and difficult content this game offers. This is also the one featured in this live stream if you want to see some more gameplay. This setup crits over 4 million and there are two main differences between the first build and this one. For one, this one has 81% stability so you can actually land your shots. First build only had 25%. The second thing is that this has lucky shot for the weapon talent. Here's the deal. If you don't run lucky shot, you're going to have major issues. You only get 144 MMR our rounds and at 260 rounds per minute all the misses will dispose of that ammo quickly i mean quickly even with all the handling we have on this setup the only way i see it reasonable to run another talent is if this was only being used as a secondary weapon which is okay too lucky shot also allows you to dedicate your mag to stability which is a big assist also you get to go for more headshots all you need is one to two headshots per enemy and you will have made them vulnerable bosses it doesn't matter heads up if you strictly go for headshots you have too many misses and mess with your dps i recommend laying into the body and sneaking in a few headshots this this weapon has great stagger but not super long range. Play around 35 to 50 meters for best results. This exact setup also works great with extra armor too. With 1.1 million armor and all other stats being the same, this hits over 3.5 million on crit. In the end, I decided the armor was nice to have because it allows you the extra time to pop your head out and hammer down the target. You're always playing from cover, so don't overdo anything here on regen or armor on kill. I did get Give that a go but i didn't think it added that much value here's the detailed walkthrough i have the svd with damage to targets out of a cover the digital scope for extra headshot damage and all the mods are dedicated to stability no crit mods you don't need them because of the coyotes mask the chest piece is the pristine example with armor handling and crits perfect focus gives us 60 percent multiplicative damage the knees are foxes with armor and crit damage we're after that damage to targets out of cover you can put the armor on any piece, it doesn't matter. The contractor's gloves have crit damage and damage to armor. The holster is Grupo with crit damage and handling. Player's Club, the latest classified build is out. Collateral Damage is a merciless build that is three times more merciless. It's a blast to run, no pun intended. If you didn't know, classified builds are secret builds made just for Texas Players Club. These extra builds are member perks I make as a thank you for all the ways you support me and the community. I have dedicated myself to United the player base and now host the most active cross-platform division 2 community out there if you want to tap into these secret builds while supporting the cause click the join button or link down below now the coyote mask is critical since we're playing over 25 meters it's giving us 25 percent crit chance this saves us from having to run four crit chance mods on the build which allows us to add all the handling instead which is very much needed this also allows us not to have to use braced losing the weapon talent to lucky shot and the chest to braced would weaken the build to hit 
at about 2.8 million and that's without any extra armor you can wreck a lot of enemies even with 2.8 million so it's not the worst thing but this build is a better setup again this setup is hitting 3.5 million and it has 1.1 million in armor the backpack is cheska with max crits and vigilance you can also use composure too if you want to you need sharpshooter for breathe control that gives us 15 percent stability reduced recoil and faster target acquisition we also get more headshots damage my skills are the fixer and the decoy they were great for this play from cover setup here is a final look at the stats on the build remember coyotes gives us more crits i recommend at least 80 percent stability to enjoy this weapon if you want to wield the strongest ar build in the game i got your back brought to you by this guy's father that's impossible Tuxedo out.